Cosmic Girl will take off from Spaceport Cornwall in Newquay and transport the two-stage orbital launch vehicle to a high altitude. It will then be, horizontally, dropped before engaging its thrusters to launch itself into space at up to 17,500 miles per hour, where it will deposit the satellites. The Launcher 1 vehicle arrived late Friday night from California, on board the C-17 Globemaster military plane. The mission, which is on track for a November liftoff, has been named Start Me Up in tribute to the iconic British band, the Rolling Stones, 1. Soviet Union 4 October 1957 2. United States, the 1st of February, 1958; three. Japan, the 11th of February, 1974; France, the 10th of March, 1970. From the French territory, French Guiana, five. China, minus 24 April, 1976; India, minus 18 July, 1987. Israel, the 19th of September, 1988; Iran, the 2nd of February, 2009; North Korea, the 12th of December, 2012; South Korea, the 21st of June, 2022; 11. United Kingdom, as well as being the first satellite launch from Britain. With the UK finally joining the space race some 70 years after the British space program was established in 1952. Launcher 1 was made at the Virgin Orbit Base in Long Beach in Los Angeles County. It will also be the first commercial launch from Europe and the first international launch by Virgin Orbit. It will be a momentous occasion. It has been flown to the UK along with all the ground support equipment, including the rocket's fueling rigs. It came after the Cosmic Girl plane, a modified Boeing 747, arrived last Tuesday and has since begun flight rehearsals. Although October 29th is when the window for liftoff opens, the mission has still not received the green light from the Civil Aviation Authority which regulates Britain's rocket launches, so November, or possibly December, seems more likely for the first flight. Once Cosmic Girl is at a high enough altitude, around 35,000 feet, Launcher 1 will be unleashed. The rocket will then thrust itself to an orbital altitude where it will deploy the satellites by catapulting them at 8,000 miles per hour. This includes the UK government's two CubeSats, measuring about 12 inches long, 8 inches wide and 4 inches deep, along with eight other payloads as part of a mission named Prometheus 2. CubeSat 1 foot and CubeSat 2 feet will provide a test platform for monitoring radio signals including GPS and sophisticated imaging. CubeSat 1 includes a laser detector, a GPS receiver and a hyperspectral imager, which can capture multiple slivers of pictures over different wavelengths of light. CubeSat 2, meanwhile, includes two optical imaging cameras a laser range finder, and a GPS receiver. The CubeSats will allow MOD to better understand how the UK and its international partners can work together to create a more capable and flexible system, at a lower cost. Sir Richard Branson's company has already conducted three successful consecutive orbital missions with Launcher 1 in 2021 and 2022, the last one in January. Ian Annette, deputy CEO at the UK Space Agency, said. Seeing Virgin Orbit's aircraft take off is an exciting reminder that we are close to the first launch from UK soil and first launch of a satellite from Europe. This will be an iconic moment in the history of UK space endeavours, so it is fitting that the mission has been named after a song from the Rolling Stones one of the UK's most iconic bands. He added, developing new launch capabilities will build on the strengths of our space sector and attract companies from around the world to benefit from these commercial opportunities. 
This will catalyze investment, bring new jobs to communities and organizations right across the UK, as well as inspiring the next generation of space scientists and engineers. 1952. British space program adopted. The rocket that will be carried into space in the first ever orbital launch from British soil has finally arrived in Cornwall. Launcher 1, the 70-foot-long launch vehicle, is due to be packed full of satellites and tucked into the belly of Virgin Orbit's space plane, Cosmic Girl, next month.